with so many yarn brands available out there and apps like Temo and AliExpress selling very, very cheap yarns. Beginners and even experienced crocheters ask me all the time is like, what is the best brand for creating amigurumis? So stick around because by the end of this video, you have like a clear understand of how to choose the best yarn for your amigurumi project. and welcome to Crochetinix. I am Bianca and in today's video I'm going to share with you some of my favorite yarns for creating amigurumis. There are lots of different materials available out there like polyester, acrylic, cotton yarn and if I was supposed to talk about every different type of material this video would become too long and this is not the aim so I will focus only in the cotton yarn material because this is my favorite. So first, let's talk about the yarn selection. And why does yarn selection matter so much in amigurumis? Well, the yarn that you choose can affect directly your final project. I mean, how it will look, the durability, and because of the quality of the material. And it can also affect your budget, which brings us to the next point in a few minutes. Well, I told you before that I prefer using cotton yarn, and there's a reason for it. Cotton yarn has little to no stretch, which makes it easier for um, creating the shape in amigurumi dolls, especially if you are a beginner. Also, when gaining more experience and keeping the same tension throughout the doll, um, it's even easier to avoid holes between stitches by using a cotton yarn. So which ones do I recommend? Well, I have four different brands here with me and they are all 100% cotton yarn. Some of them are moisturized and some of them are not. I'm still going to explain one by one, but all in all, I really, really like these brands. I mean, I've created lots of projects with them and I'll show you some of these projects. I don't have them all here with me, but um, you'll see that the final result using this yarn brands, they are all amazing. And these are the four brands that I'm going to talk to you about. We have here um, Friends Cotton from Hobby. This is not the moisturized one, but I'll talk about it better later. I also have Catania. I don't know how to pronounce it very well. This is German and I don't speak German. I'm from Brazil, by the way, but yeah, I don't speak German. I think it's Schachenmeier. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, this one is Katona from Schrepius, also a difficult name, but I saw some YouTube videos to learn how to pronounce it correctly. And this is a Brazilian brand, a very good one. You can find it um, outside Brazil. I'll talk about it later, but this is called Amigurumi and the name of the brand is Circulo. Okay, so let's talk about all of them. Let's start with the Katona yarn from Schrepius. This is 100% moisturized cotton yarn and um, the crochet hook they recommend is 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter size, but I personally use um, 2.2 or 2.5 crochet hook size. I think it's better. Um, this yarn ball weighs um, 50 grams and its length is like 125 meters. It has like a huge variety of colors, like 113 different colors, which is a lot. It's a dream. I would love to have all of these colors in my house. I don't know if, even if I have enough space to it, but I would love to. Anyways, the company is, for, is from the Netherlands and this is a very, very quality material. There is only one thing that I don't like about it. I usually like to remove the, the tip of the, the yarn from the inside because, I mean, we can find the tip of the yarn if we remove the label, but if we do that, we lose the name of the color, the number of the color that is written in here. For example, um, this one is black and the color is 110. This is the number. 
so whenever i'm creating and this is an easy one because it's black but let's suppose i have a specific tone color of pink and i want to do this to use this color again in another project and i don't have the label it would be very difficult for me to remember which um, number is it to purchase the same color again so that's why i always like to keep the label and remove the yarn from the inside but um it's not that easy to remove the yarn from the inside usually i when you try you like take a big ball of yarn and um, it's not that easy this is what i, I like the least about katona but the yarn is very very good and i really recommend people use that for amigurumis and now let's talk about katania from the difficult name shockenmeier shockenmeier yeah i am sorry again but okay, let's talk about the yarn. <laughs> this one is from German, as I said. Um, it also weighs um, 50 grams. The crochet hook size they recommend is 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter size. But again, I prefer using a 2.2 and 2.5 to avoid holes between stitches. And my stitches are very tight. Let me see what else can I say about Catania. Okay, Catania is also 100% um, moisturized cotton and they co it comes in 100 different colors. It's 13 colors less than Catona, but still, it's, I mean, they have lots of colors and the material is very good. To be completely honest, I think it's so similar to Catona. Even the name is similar, isn't it? Catona, Catania. So yeah, the material is very similar. It's very difficult for me to, um, if I don't have the label, again, the importance of keeping the label, um, it's very difficult to find out which one is which. And talking about prices, because I still haven't mentioned about the Katona. So I'll tell you the price that I paid here in Finland, okay? The prices may vary from store to store. And I wanted to take like uh, Amazon, for example, to tell you the prices in the same platform. But I couldn't find all the yarns that I wanted in the same platform. So that's why I'm telling you how much I paid for this. So I paid two euros and 90 cents for Katona and three euros and 50 cents for Catania. Catania was a bit more expensive, like 60 cents more than this one. So yeah, um, this is how much I paid for this. And now let's talk about Hobby and more specifically about the French cotton from Hobby. Hobby has an amazing selection of yarns. Um, I really recommend you take a look at their website because you probably spent a few hours there because they really have lots of different yarns. And I mean, if you look at the website, you see that you will Oh my goodness, you want to purchase everything they have. <laughs> Something that I really like about Hobby, talking about the website since I began with it, is that you can purchase from their own website and it's very easy to do that. Um, they have like patterns, they have free patterns, they have paid patterns, they have a membership club, um, you can purchase yarn, stuffing, lots of different materials, crochet hooks, accessories. Um, it's a very complete website and um, I'm not being paid to say that. I wish I was, but I'm not. So I'm just giving my honest opinion because none of the brands that I mentioned here paid me anything. I'm just giving you my honest, honest opinion about everything. Hobby is also from Denmark and um, something that I like about their website is that they have this kind of progressive discount um, for all the yarns that they have. So if you purchase one yarn is one price, but if you take five, 10 or 20, um, the prices start to decrease, which is good because when I moved to Finland, I had no yarn with me. I had to purchase everything from scratch um, and I had nothing. So it was cheaper to buy with Hobby because like 10 or 20 balls of yarn and it was, I don't know, two point something euros. Way cheaper than the others. And Hobby is from Denmark. 
Um, they have some free shipping programs depending on the country and depending on how much you spend on their website, which can also makes it more profitable to us. Still talking about prices here because, well, I decided to start with it and so I'll, I'll continue. Um, hobbies from Denmark and depending on which country you are, um, they have free shipping programs, so depending, I mean, the country and also how much you spend on the website. So it might be worth it. Diving into the yarn itself, I have something to say. And now we have to split into two categories because French cotton, they have like two different types. They have the 100% moisturized and the non-moisturized one. So I'll start talking about the non-moisturized cotton yarn. It is 100%, it's just not moisturized. Um, let me see the label. It also has 50 grams, but the difference between Katona Catania and Hobby is that it comes with, the, its length is like 160 meters. Yeah, it's way more. Like Katona and Catania had 125 meters and this one is 160 meters. The crochet hook recommended is 3 to 3.5 and here is where I think it's it's not that precise. Um, it's a very thin thread. It's even thinner than Katona and Catania. So for this yarn here, I used two millimeter, and I even tried a 1.8 millimeter crochet hook size from Tulip, and it worked pretty great. Don't use a three millimeter hook size for an amigurumi project because you get lots of holes between your stitches. This yarn here comes in a hundred different colors, the same amount as Catania, which is good for sure. And the prices vary between one euro and 55 cents to two euros and 40 cents, depending on how much you purchase. Yeah, way cheaper. <laughs> And as I said, I have to split into two categories, the hobby yarn, because they also have the 100% moisturized one. The main problem with this is because they don't have this much, um, this amount of colors. It's like only 30 colors, it's just a few. And I honestly prefer the moisturized um, yarn. There are some people who don't like it. I have a friend that she doesn't like moisturized, she doesn't like the how, how shiny the amigurumi gets, but this is what I like the most. So yeah, I prefer the, the moisturized one and they don't have um, many colors, as many as I wanted. The other specifications are the same. It's like 50 grams, 160 meters length, and the prices are a bit more expensive than this one here, which is not moisturized. The prices for the moisturized one varies between two euros and 30 cents to three euros and I don't know, 50 cents, something like that. It's a bit more expensive than the non moisturized, but it's still cheaper than Katona and Catania, at least the prices that I paid here in a local store. Also, the recommendation of the crochet hook is the same as this one. And my recommendation is also the same. 1.8, two millimeter crochet hook size, because otherwise the stitches are like very big and you create lots of holes and we don't like it. I know there's been a while I'm talking about hobby, but there is one last thing that I loved about this yarn. They have what they call easy start. They always have this label here with their logo and it is written easy start in the label so you can simply start by this point without removing the label without losing the number of the color that is written in here it's amazing and here's my tip to all the brands if anyone will ever see this video <laughs> um use this please start doing this it makes our life so much easier and it's so simple because this this tip of the yarn here is also in the middle it leads to the middle of the bowl it's amazing 
I have another one here that I already started. And you see how easily we can pull the yarn. It's amazing. The last brand that I'm going to talk to you about is the Brazilian one called Amigurumi from, and the brand is Circulo. As I said, it is a Brazilian yarn and it is 100% moisturized cotton yarn. Although it's a Brazilian brand, they are growing more internationally the last couple of years. So you can find this yarn in many countries. Um, you can check their website, Circulo USA. So they, they recommend some um, American websites that are selling this yarn. You can also find it in some European countries. So let's focus on the yarn itself now. Um, the label. This yarn here weighs 125 grams. It's like double, more than double the, the weight of the other yarns that I showed you before. And it, its length is like 254 meters. It's also way, way bigger than all the others. It comes in 66 colors. Um, when I was living in Brazil, I only used this yarn. There was another Brazilian brand that I really liked, but it but they don't sell internationally, so that's why I'm not mentioning. And I also don't have it here now with me. But I mean, 66 different colors is quite a lot, I know. But sometimes I missed a few colors. I was creating a project and I was like, oh, I wanted this. I don't know this brown tone, and I couldn't find it. So if you compare like, I don't know, Katona that has 113 different colors and 66, well, it's half of it. Half of it? <laughs> yeah, so, um, so yeah, it's a lot. It's a great number of colors, but I do believe they could think about creating some more because the, the quality of the material is very good. You have no idea. I really like using this, this yarn and that's why I used it for so long. Um, Ciclo recommends using a two millimeter to four millimeter crochet hook size. And honestly, I started, when I started crocheting amigurumis with this yarn here, um, I started with a 3.5 and then my stitches got tighter and I changed to three to 2.5. And I'm now crocheting it with a 2.2 millimeter crochet hook size. And the finish of the product is amazing. The shine of the yarn is very beautiful. Um, and a 2.2 makes the stitches like so tight and so beautiful, so even. I really like it. And I searched for the price in one of the websites that Circulo recommends in their own Circulo USA website. Um, and the yarn costs $7.50, which you might think is a lot, but remember, it's double the size of the other yarn balls. So in the end, it's not that expensive at all. It's like the same price. So yeah, guys, when choosing the perfect yarn for your project, always consider your budget. It's important. Um, the amount of colors that you need, like take a look at the brand website to see if they have the color that you want so you won't start the project and miss a color and you have to choose for another brand to continue. So yeah, the best yarn may vary from one project to another. And don't hesitate to try and experiment different yarns. Make the samples, always make the samples um, before making the whole project. To see if you really like this this new material that you're trying. I believe that experimentation is the key here. Well, I hope you found this video helpful and please let me know here in the comments which yarn is your favorite for amigurumis. Please let me know the yarn and the brand and who knows, maybe I can bring a tutorial or a review about this yarn in the future. Remember to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Let's keep this crochet hooks busy. Bye-bye.